In this video, we will take a look at two examples of factor by grouping. Factor by grouping is a factoring technique often used when we have an even number of terms, typically four or six terms. But remember, the first step in any factoring problem is always to factor out the greatest common factor. If we don't factor out the greatest common factor, the expression will not be factored completely. So looking at our first expression, we are not going to add these two like terms because if we do, we would have three terms and we cannot use factor by grouping when we have an odd number of terms. So again, our first step is to factor out the greatest common factor. Looking at all four terms, the greatest common factor is 2y. We begin by factoring out 2y. We factor out 2y from 10y cubed, we have 5y squared. If we factor out 2y from 20y squared, we have 10y, giving us plus 10y. If we factor 2y from 6y squared, we have 3y, giving us plus 3y. If we factor 2y from 12y, we're left with 6, giving us plus 6. Now that we factored out the greatest common factor of 2y, we will now apply the technique of factor by grouping to the expression inside the brackets. Step one is we divide or group the polynomial into halves. Because we have four terms, the first half will have two terms, the second half will have two terms as well. The next step is to factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. The greatest common factor between 5y squared and 10y is 5y. So we factor out 5y from just the first two terms. To factor out 5y from 5y squared, we have a factor of y. If we factor out 5y from 10y, we have a factor of 2, giving us plus 2. And now we do the same to the second half. The greatest common factor of 3y plus 6 is 3. Because we factor out positive 3, we write plus 3. If we factor out 3 from 3y, we're left with y. If we factor out 3 from 6, we're left with 2, giving us plus 2. The last step is to factor out the common polynomial factor. Looking at these two products, if we use the technique of factor by grouping correctly, the products will always have a common polynomial factor, which in this case we can see is y plus 2. Now we factor out y plus 2 from these two products. So again, we still have the factor of 2y. And now if we factor out y plus 2 from both products, we have the quantity y plus 2. And we can see the remaining factor is 5y plus 3. So this is now factored completely, but we can now drop the brackets and write the final factored form as 2y times the quantity y plus 2 times the quantity 5y plus 3. Let's look at our second example on the next slide. Remember, the first step is always to factor out the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of all four terms is 4x, but because this first term is negative, let's factor out negative 4x rather than positive 4x. If we factor out negative 4x, it's going to change the sign of each term. If we factor out negative 4x from negative 20x cubed, we have positive 5x squared. If we factor negative 4x from negative 80x squared, we're left with positive 20x, so we have plus 20x. If we factor negative 4x from negative 12x squared, we have positive 3x, so plus 3x. If we factor negative 4x from negative 48x, we're left with positive 12, giving us plus 12. Again, we can check this by distributing negative 4x if we need to. And now we factor the polynomial inside the parentheses using the factor by grouping technique. First step is to divide the terms in half. So we have two terms on the left, two terms on the right. The next step is to factor out the greatest common factor from the first half and the second half. So we have negative 4x, and then the greatest common factor of 5x squared plus 20x is 5x. We factor out 5x from just these two terms, which leaves us with x plus 4, which again we can check by distributing. And now we factor out the greatest common factor from 3x plus 12, which is 3. Because we factor out positive 3, we have plus 3. We factor out 3 from 3x plus 12, we're left with x plus 4. And again, notice how we do have a common binomial factor of x plus 4, which we now factor out of the two products. So we have negative 4x times, we factor out the factor of x plus 4, which we can see leaves us with the factor of 5x plus 3. 
This is factored completely, but now we can drop the brackets and write the final factored form as negative 4x times the quantity x plus 4 times the quantity 5x plus 3. I hope you found this helpful.